welcome back to the channel. As many of you saw, I found all of those magnet boards, magnetic boards in the Joanne dumpster. I'll link that video now showing you when I found it in case you guys didn't see the video. But I think these are magnet boards, I think. We're gonna grab them. We'll see when we get home. I know there's some stuff that will remove this spray paint, but we're gonna grab all that, put it into the car, and we'll see you at the next dumpster. But when I found those magnets, magnetic boards, I keep wanting to say magnets, a lot of them were spray painted. They were messed up. They were all spray painted. They could be cleaned. They could be left as is. But you know what? I decided to get creative. How am I going to fix them? What am I going to do with them? Well, guess what I did? This is my example. This is the one I did for my son. The magnets still stick to it just fine. It's Jack the Skeleton and my son loves it that was my trial run just to make sure that the paint wouldn't mess it up because some magnetic boards use a paint with metal clip metal clips metal chips in it so i wanted to make sure that that wouldn't interfere with that magne magnetism it works great so we are going to show you how i'm going to fix the next one okay guys so first off if you haven't already I have a giveaway video. Make sure to go watch that. Let me know what random act of kindness you did. Today is actually Ellie's mom's birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Mrs. Kuching. And I thought what better way to celebrate the fact that I hit 500 yesterday than to rack Ellie's mom random act of kindness if you're wondering why I would rack her. So we are going to paint a magnet board for her. You're going to see what I'm doing on it as I go. But please guys go over there, do your random act of kindness, let me know what you did because we did hit 500 yesterday. So it is time for that giveaway. So Tuesday there will be an announcement of who won. So you have till Tuesday to get in there and get in on the comments. And I also want to know from you, do you want me to do a video of who won? Because I'm going to use the comment randomizer. Or do you want me to go live? Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, make sure you hit that bell, hit that subscribe. Don't want to miss future uploads. And we're going to dive on in. Okay, guys. So what we are going to do is we are going to paint this. Um, with Ellie Strong saying of Ellie Strong forever with her green ribbon. First, we're going to paint the background a blue. I don't mind if the red shows through a little bit as a design, but we are going to paint it all solid blue. I just put the paint straight onto this because it really doesn't matter. I'm going to use up the whole thing anyway. So that's first step first. Um, Ellie's mom does not know that I'm doing this. This is kind of a surprise to her. Um, it's my little rack to her. It's her birthday. Um, so happy birthday to her. And I'm going to be sending this to her. Surprising. Um, I'm using acrylic paint. I did already go through this and do paint already. And I realized how we used oil paint. Oil paint is not the option for this. It takes forever to dry. It doesn't spread out well. It just isn't the option. NWI Diver. Congrats again on that 1K that you recently hit. She actually had an amazing idea too that you could do chalkboard paint. So that's a really good idea. My son will be doing another one of these. Um, and he's going to be painting a cat on it. We're going to be doing that as a rack, a random act of kindness towards the rescue that we've helped out. They um, auction it off and whatever money they make actually goes towards supplies that they need, such as food. In the past, he's done paintings like that, and they've actually gotten $50 off of them. So, it really does help the rescue. And it costs us next to nothing. So, it's something that we do do every once in a while. Usually, it's just a painting on canvas that he does. But, that is what we're doing. Yes, I could have just left it, or I could have cleaned the spray paint off. But, I'm doing this because it's just an idea I came up with that makes it look pretty. Um, something neat I could do. And... It's just another option you can have. I did already test it out. Magnets do stick to it, so it doesn't mess up the magnetism. Since sometimes the paint they use on these 
has metal chips in it to help increase the magnetism or make it magnetic. Um, I did test out to make sure that that would not be destroyed by painting over it. So now this is all solid blue. It's more of a purplish blue, but that's okay. I wasn't too worried about what color it necessarily was. I just thought blue was going to be my option. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll move on to the Ellie Strong Green for the words. Okay, we are on to the next step where we are painting the Ellie Strong. We are going to use a green, which she uses like a lime green kind of. But we're going to use a green. We have a hashtag because that is part of the Ellie Strong brand is a hashtag. I will have the link in the description to her Facebook page as well. Um, please go on over there. Check it out. It's an inspiring group. It really is. Um, you're having a bad day. You go over there and you just see this amazing movement that has been put forth because of this amazing little girl. Um, go over there. Check it out. Get in on that random act of kindness. It really, really means a lot to her mother. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to so many people because it's just that that trying to keep her memory alive um, everyone, you know, when someone passes away, your biggest fear, or someone's biggest fear when they pass away is they're forgotten. And that is kind of her mom's biggest fear about Ellie. Um, this beautiful little girl lost her fight to cancer, and her biggest fear is that someday no one will know who Ellie Strong is. So she did start up this foundation of Ellie Strong Forever. She started the movement of the racks in Ellie's name. Um, just trying to really push her name out there, keep her name strong, keep her name known. And there is such a huge movement of people behind Ellie Strong that it's amazing to see. But please, please, please go over there, check it out. That is greatly, greatly appreciated by me. Um, her mother, it is her mom's birthday today. Um, it's fast approaching the one year mark of when Ellie did pass away. So her mom is struggling. Um, it's very hard right now for her. She puts a smile on and she pushes through every day. So guys, my camera died as I was painting. So this was the end product. I probably will go over the Ellie Strong Forever again with the green. Just to make it pop out a little bit more. But as I was saying, um, Mrs. Kuching, Kyle Kuching, Ellie's mom, is an amazing woman. You would never know she struggles as much as she does with the loss of her daughter and the struggles of the medical bills and everything that followed. But she's always got a smile on her face. She's always trying to help everyone. She's just an amazing woman. And I know that seeing people do random acts of kindness and seeing people remembering Ellie really puts a smile on her face. We all fear that. We all fear when we pass or when our child passes that they're going to be forgotten or we're going to be forgotten. And that's obviously her fear. She wants her daughter remembered. So going over there and doing a random act of kindness in Ellie's name keeps Ellie's name out there, keeps Ellie's name in people's mouths. So it really is appreciated by her and as well as by me. So I would love to see you guys go over there. The giveaway will be on Tuesday. I cannot thank you guys enough. 500 subscribers in 10 weeks time is just amazing. You blew my mind. And I really, really thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Love seeing the comments. Love the interaction. But you have till Tuesday. Get in on that giveaway. Go over there. Check out the page. Do some random act of kindness. It can be so simple. Um... We're couponers, or not couponers, I'm saying couponers. We're dumpster divers, and many of us are couponers. A lot of us have a stockpile of essentials that could get donated to a food pantry, donated to someone in need, donated to the homeless. There's so many small acts that we could do that cost us next to nothing. So I'd love to see you guys perform some sort of random act of kindness in Ellie's name. It would be greatly appreciated. And let me know, like I said, how you like that intro. Things might be changing because I have been talking to Scrap and Pallet Man. He just hit 100K. He's a wealth of knowledge and he's an amazing individual. And he has given me some insight that I may be changing things. So let me know what you think, but I still may be changing things. He knows what he's talking about. Can't deny it. He knows what he's talking about. 
So I may be changing things. But I hope you guys have a blessed day and live Ellie strong. Live Ellie strong forever. Talk to you guys on the next one.